In this problem, we're going to learn how to calculate the MCRT, the mean cell residence time. Well, let's go to the board and see how to work this problem. The problem reads, at an activated sludge wastewater treatment plant receiving 3.25 million gallons per day, the final effluent suspended solids concentration averages 21.2 milligrams per liter. What would the calculated MCRT value be when the aeration basin carries 2,050 milligrams per liter of mixed liquor suspended solids and wastes 0.0550 million gallons per day? The waste activated sludge has a concentration of 7,980 milligrams per liter. The aeration basin has a volume of 1 million gallons. And the secondary clarifier has an operational volume of 0 0.250 million gallons. Well, there's a lot of numbers and a lot of units in there. So to avoid confusion, we want to pull those out so we can see those individually and have some numbers and units to work with without all the extra words. So let's write down our known and our unknown information. We are trying to find the MCRT. They want us to calculate the mean cell residence time. So we write that down. Now MCRT has a unit of days. Next, they tell us that plant flow is 3.25 million gallons per day. So we write that down. And then they give us the concentration of solids leaving the plant, 21.2 milligrams per liter. So we write that down. Then the problem tells us that we're wasting, we're wasting our sludge at a rate of 0 0.0550 million gallons per day. So that's our WAS flow. And they tell us that the concentration of our waste activated sludge is 7,980 milligrams per liter. So we write that down. We see that the aeration basin volume is 1 million gallons. We write that down. And then the aeration basin carries solids or mixed liquor suspended solids at 2,050 milligrams per liter. So we write that down. And then we see that the secondary clarifier has an operational volume of 0 0.250 million gallons. So now that we've pulled all the information out of the problem, we're going to write down our formula which says the mean cell residence time equals our aeration basin volume in million gallons added to our final clarifier volume in million gallons. And then we'll multiply that by our mixed liquor suspended solids times 8.3. And that'll uh, give us our total pounds that's carried in the secondary. So we're going to combine the volume of our aeration basin and the final clarifier and then multiply that by our mixed liquor suspended solids times 8.34. That's the top term. On the bottom, we need to calculate pounds per day leaving the system. Well, we're losing solids in two ways. One way is we're wasting it through our waste activated sludge, so we'll calculate pounds per day of wasting, and then we're also losing solids over our final effluent weir. That's that 21.2 milligrams per liter. So we're losing some of our solids due to wasting and some of our solids over the final weir. So we need to find our pounds per day of each and add those together and that becomes our bottom term. Well, as you'll remember from the pounds formula uh, question, our pounds per day equals our flow in MGD times the concentration in milligrams per liter times 8.34. So I'm gonna put that on the bottom here for each, for our wasting, and for the solids leaving the, in the plant effluent. So when we plug all these numbers in, on top we have our 1 million gallons in the aeration basin added to the 0.25 million gallons in the secondary clarifier. So those are the two volumes we add together. And then we multiply that by the 2,050 milligrams per liter that we carry in the aeration basin times 8.34. That's the top number. On the bottom, I'm calculating pounds per day wasted. That's our wasting flow, which is 0 0.055 million gallons per day times the waste concentration, which is given to us at 7,980 milligrams per liter. And then we multiply by 8.34. We then add that to the pounds per day leaving the secondary clarifier, which is plant flow, 
3.25 million gallons per day times the concentration, 21.2 milligrams per liter, times 8.34. So I need to carefully do this math. And when I do that, I find that my mean cell residence time, my MCRT, is five days. And that, my friend, is how this problem is solved.